What is up? What is up, everyone? Excuse my mess. I am trying to come back to this uh, place and build a little bit. Unfortunately, I have been so, so busy doing other stuff. Um, quick announcement has nothing to do with scale modeling. I am going to be opening a uh, automotive shop pretty soon. I have been doing uh, some art cars, uh, working on real cars. Um, if for you guys who didn't know, I used to be a race car fabricator before, so now I'm kind of like going back to that. I'm going to be opening a shop right now in October, and I apologize because I have not been present building for you guys, always trying to bring you, you know, a little bit of everything. Um, another quick cool announcement, uh, one of my videos, the one on the Heinkel, the Schwilling, uh, it has been going viral, so it has uh, over 30,000 views right now. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. I will please ask of you if you can like, share, subscribe, the whole cool thing so we can get this thing going, so I can get back, you know, to a little bit of modeling and everything. So um, this is an update on the 62 Catalina. I am going with something pretty crazy. As you can see, I learned a lot from the previous, the, the lowrider, the one that I uh, actually got done, and it did pretty well at uh, GSL. So I learned a lot from that car, so I'm bringing uh, more of those details to this. I know this is, this a drag race car has nothing to do with uh, ornaments, as you are seeing on, the, on this, valve covers as you can see there there's a little bit of ornaments but that's that's what's gonna make this uh, build crazy that i'm going to do a lot of this uh hyper detail that i always do and let me show so you again what this is uh, the engine um barely barely starting to not even detail i'm just painting it doing the basics this is uh, again it's gonna be a pro mod so it's going to have uh, a huge supercharger on top like sticking out and we're gonna keep doing all these uh, ornaments and, and chromes it has nothing to do again with a com competitive pro mod but that's the idea I'm trying to merge both of these in, in this build and make it a, a crazy looking uh, car this is one of the size of the cages uh, that's, yep, a NOS bottle. I am doing all the bracketry on the cage, all the carbon fiber, which is not in the real car, or of course in scale modeling, it's not real carbon fiber. They're just wrapping some of the, the bars with carbon fiber, so it looks cool because the cage, remember, needs to be chromoly or, or something uh, to pass inspection on, on the actual racing. But as, as I'm telling you, you can see all the little brackets that I'm adding and all the, the metal stuff. Uh, I still have to hyper detail this a little bit more. Uh, with the body, like I showed before, it's gonna have one of the doors open. Of course, I'm gonna do something crazy with the hood since the supercharger is sticking up. So I might do a removable, kind of like a quarter hood or something like that. Uh, the tires are wrinkled on the back. They're gonna look badass. And it's gonna have the, the big um, wheelie bar, so they're here. So that's my setup with the the thing and the and the big wheelie bar sticking out through the back of the of the car. So that's uh, for the body. Oh, and and the body on top is going to be also ornaments between black and chrome. I'm gonna chrome outside. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Before you even start, remember, uh, I am all about all about making scale models real. However, this is a, a, I want a, some kind of like experiment with art and chromes and, and ornaments, something like a show car, something a, like, a, like a car that will never compete. It looks like a pro mod, but it's just sitting at a museum, you know, displaying these gorgeous ornaments and art and all that crap. So you can stop holding your breath now. This is the seat, uh, simulating aluminum with all this stuff. It's gonna have, uh, of course, uh, seat belts. Uh, it's gonna be weathered, um, resembling aluminum. So that's gonna go in between the cage. <clears throat> the wrinkled tires with ornaments on the rims. There we go. 
Okay, there's that. Uh, also, now let's jump to the interior. It's looking crazy. So I'm working on the front clip in the front section. So here's where the engine's gonna actually go. Um, as you can see, I'm going wild also with the details. Every little corner of the car, you can see the, the display. Uh, the steering wheel, I opened those holes. That's how some of the pro mods have the steering wheels for uh, lightness. So they're lightweight. You can see the shifter with the little red cable on the back. That's for the transmission. I'm going to add other uh, safety uh, things. You can see it's carbon fiber and the little nuts and bolts holding it. There's more bracketry on the bottom. These are the pedals. That little hook, let's see if you can focus here. There's a hook on the pedal. There you go. You can see it on the accelerator. So that hook, it's uh, mandatory as if the throttle ever gets stuck, you can pull your foot back and it will pull the, the, the gas pedal back. So that's mandatory. Uh, uh, one more time, you can see more carbon fiber on the, on the bars. In the model, as in the real cars, it's just ornament. There's actually not a carbon fiber. As far as I know, I don't know if they're doing it right now, but you could not have a carbon fiber roll cage. I don't think that's too safe. Uh, there's the, the brackets for the parachute on the top. Let's see if we can focus that, and there you go. So all the little PE, that's gonna be the cable that's going jumping all the way to the back. Uh, there's more brackets on the roll cage and that's how it's going to go. So this part, <clears throat> sorry, this part is going to sit on the floor and on the floor we're preparing everything carbon fiber. So let me see if I can put this together for you guys here. Here we go. So that's how it's going to look. And this other part is gonna go here. And that's how we complete and close the cage. So the reason why there's no cage on this side or I haven't actually, well, I haven't glued this section is so I can continue to work on all the brackets and everything that's going inside the car. Um, removing that allows me, and that's why I haven't glued the cage to the floor because I have access from the bottom, from the sides, from everywhere to sneak in the tweezers because I haven't even started yet. Uh, these are all the electronics that I have and there's actually more electronics for the engine. I'm sorry, for the interior. And the engine, of course, is gonna have its own electronics but I haven't even gotten there yet. So all the, the cables, wiring, there's gonna be a lot of, of, uh, of wiring and, and plumbing going inside. This is uh, the panel, the switch panel, that's gonna go on top actually, on top of the, the pilot. So on the windshield upper bar, that completes the upper halo, that's where the panels are gonna go with switches and of course wiring running along. So there's a lot of wiring I'm gonna be doing on this car. Now the engine, of course, big news, it's gonna sit in the front, right? So, um, I made these two plates. These are two, uh, I, I believe they're called torque plates. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Torque plates, because those plates are tied into the, to the roll cage. They're bolted uh, to the heads and the block, and they're here. That's what actually holds the engine and not allowing the engine, the thrust to twist or break the, the chassis. So it's held on, on more points for the, for the thrust. Um, also, I built, I modified a radiator. As you can see, it's, it looks like it's welded. So I added the top and that radiator, of course, is gonna go here on the front. Offset, why? Because the fuel tank, I have a little bracket there, is gonna be sitting right next to it. So that's gonna be a tiny little fuel tank. Remember, it's a drag race car, so we don't need uh, large amounts of fuel. I noticed that a lot of pro mods, they, they uh, put their fields on the front. This is going to be a very uh, cool dry sump uh, oil. 
a container that's gonna go somewhere here in the front as well. And we gotta do catch cans, we gotta do a lot of stuff around the engine. And remember, this is gonna be supercharged, so everything's gonna be sticking out in the front. So this is it for now, guys. I wanted to make an update. I am not, you know, uh, missed in action. I am just uh, very busy, unfortunately, lately, but I will be getting back to, to this model pretty soon i have been attending scale model shows it has been pretty good by the way uh the catalina the lowrider has been doing amazingly people love the car uh right now october the 7th i am going to cadillac fest it's an all lowrider show so of course i'm taking the catalina i will keep you posted uh to see how it goes i'll make some uh maybe some uh how are these called shorts <laughs> so i don't have to post a full video i'll show you shorts of how the car's doing at the show, but uh, definitely I will be showing you guys what's going on, okay? So again, I will be working on this car as soon as I can, trying to get it going. Uh, my apologies, I have been a little, you know, MIA, but uh, I'll get back to you guys soon, and I just wanted to show you an update. So this is a Drag Race Catalina, a Pro Mod. All right, gentlemen, peace out. Thank you.